Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome, my latest guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Jessica DiCicco. Um, you might know me as the voice of Flame Princess on Adventure Time. I'm also Lumina in Final Fantasy and um, Giffany and Tambry in Gravity Falls. I'm on Sims 4 as a Sims, as a kid Sim speaking Simish. Um, I was Melina in The Emperor's New School, uh, the Disney Channel show back in the day, and Maggie on the buzz on Maggie. Uh, many other things, too. Yeah, um, real quick. Yeah. Simish. Yes. Did you have to learn Simish? So we, act, um, I, I have like a, a list of just made up words and we just put, a, you know, assemble sentences on the spot. Okay. Yeah. I imagine they were like, so here's how you're feeling. Here's what you're going to say. Here's how Simish works. Figure it out. <laughs> Pretty much. That sounds about right. <laughs> Um, and actually, fun fact, um, so, you know, it's a very small amount of voice actors who, like, work on all the different shows yeah. and, and video games and whatnot. Um, so it's the other voice actress who I work with on, on The Sims is Hinden Walsh, who has been here, who plays Princess Bubblegum. So Princess Bubblegum and Flame Princess also play the two Sims, wow. the kid Sims. Um, let's talk about being a princess. Um, so aside from preparing for the character, I want to know about preparing to be a princess. Did you, know, you do royal research? I think that she's just a regular girl. <laughs> just, like, well, that's like what we learn from watching all those classic Disney films anyway. They're yeah. just regular girls who like, have all this other stuff to deal with, the fact that they're royalty. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's awesome to be able to play... A princess, yeah, yeah. It's really fun. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Um, I like Jasmine and um, I don't know, maybe Ariel. Yeah, Ariel. <laughs> <He isn't>. <laughs> <laughs> um, why Jasmine and Ariel? Jasmine, I like her because she's feisty. Mm -hmm. um, and she, she has a strong sense of self. So I really like that. Ariel, I just think I have a soft spot because I love, I grew up watching Little yeah. Mermaid, but I'm not so crazy about the fact that it was just all about her following, you know, looking for a man. Like, I, I, yeah. I have a little problem with that. I don't. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you think that the Disney shows or just any shows that we have now for little girls are changing that ideal of, you know, to be a princess, you have to be proper and chase the man that you want. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that issue is definitely like a, a hot topic right now, and I think a lot of shows are gearing towards like a more modern, realistic woman now. <laughs> but um, I mean, you know, to, to girls to, to raise them like that. But um, what shows in particular have princesses right now? Um, there's Sophia the First. Yeah. Which oh, is actually, I just did a guest star on that. I played a, a flegal, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I sang a big song on it. You play a what? A flegal. What is a flegal? <laughs> She's kind of like a, like a fairy oh, okay. of sorts. Yeah. Is she part seagull? <laughs> is she a fairy seagull? I don't know where the flegal word came from. It's kind of ridiculous, but she. Uh, <laughs> She's like, you know, she has to learn how to be nice. Yeah. So, Sophia, that's what the lesson is, I guess, in that episode. Right. Yeah, she's, I, I like Sophia. She's in control. She, you know, does some interesting things and leads adventures. Yeah. So, I like that, that she's like a strong female character. Right. So, that's definitely a good example, yeah. I think Frozen is a good example, right? Yeah. We have one sister who decides, I want to fall in love with this stranger. And her other sister goes, girl, you crazy. You just met this man, right? That's a great, yeah. and then the, the thing that, spoiler alert, <laughs> solves that problem is the sisterly love. Yeah. That's another princess example of us making progress in the world. Yeah, the, actually, I don't, that's a good point. Like, I don't know any other Disney film that's, that's, met, that's um, taught, you know, handled that. Be, you know, sister relationship. I, I, that's, I like that. Yeah, and also, like, Anna is just not interested 
in the in the who's the second guy that she ends up liking? Kristoff. Yeah, is that Kristoff? Yeah. I think I've only seen it once. I've uh, seen it a lot. But I've heard the song. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've only seen it once, but I'm like sick of Let It Go. <laughs> I can't. Aren't we all? Oh yes. <laughs> um. So. Sorry, it, if you guys still like the song. Also not, if you're, sorry if you're if not we, sick of it. Yeah. Sorry if we just put it back in your head. <laughs> Um, Should we sing it all together? No. <laughs> no. I'm Let's shut, go. I'm sing shutting along it down. Time. <laughs> um, so Flame Princess joined Adventure Time in season, yeah. in season three. I think the end of season three. Yeah. Big entrance. And then they explored the love story season four. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I've been recording some more episodes. So spoiler, she's coming back. Awesome. Um, I can't really go into detail about, you know, right. what, what the story is going to be, but... Um, but I've been recording some really fun episodes. Okay. I'm like still excited about this this like session that I had the other day. <laughs> yeah. Um, were you a fan of Adventure Time before Flame Princess? Um, not really. Actually, working on the show is what got me into it. So yeah, it was such a nice surprise. Like I know, you know, as a voice actress, a big part of my job is auditioning for things every day. Yeah. So you never know like what you're gonna work on, or what you're gonna book. You have no control over it. Yeah. You know, you audition for things and then you book something. Oh, I see a sim. <laughs> Sorry to call you out. <laughs> <laughs> she's speaking Simish? Simish. I think she's I speaking Simish because I don't, I don't speak understand. I Simish, guys. I don't actually. <laughs> I actually do speak Simish. I believe it. <laughs> but um, you, should, you should try. No. Nope. Nope. That's not happening. I will you know, okay, so like, you should you should speak some simish. Here's like a little. Oh, so I, I usually try to sneak some sip, some like of my like uh, sneak some words in. So like my dog's name is Cody, so I'll be like, Cody, like I'll be like Codia boy, or like you know, like like you can like do this here, like MCM Bazooka or like Bazoo, uh, you know. Nuza reviewer, like you can just say different things, ah. like, and you can just make it sound like gibberish. Yeah, that's okay. Your turn. Nope, <laughs> that's an amazing skill. I'll do a lot of things on stage. Simish is Simish. not one of them. She draws a line. I people. draw the line at Simish. <laughs> I guess I won't do a lot on stage. Um, I think it's really fun. Before I take it to the audience, because I believe we have audience questions. Yes, I see some nodding. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Hi. Um, I want to know, so I, I like to ask this of performers, what is your advice for someone who might want to get into voice acting? Um, okay, so for voice acting, and I, I get this asked, you know, a, a lot, um, a lot of people think that it's just having, like, a cool voice or, like, you know, a silly voice, but, you know, it's, it's acting. Like, you're an actor. You have to bring characters to life in order for people to, you know, relate to them and respond to them. So, you know, f to be a voice actor, um, I would say to focus on the acting first. So maybe take acting classes and then, you know, do what I did. Like, I locked myself in my bedroom and I just watched, like, Disney films back to back. I, like, ate all animated films, like Iron Giant and, like, just so many. And I just imitated them and I just, I just focused and, like, listen, yeah. So your advice is... Take acting classes, yep. lock yourself in your room, and watch movies. Exactly. Animated and films. Animated yep. films. And, show, and, and there shows. are so many shows, yeah. I um, <laughs> think I'm going to become a voice actor. <laughs> and so then, yeah, and then you're, you're so on your I way. Can, just so I can take <laughs> acting classes and lock myself away to watch <laughs> animated films and TV shows. Yeah, and you know, you can justify it because you yeah. are studying to become yeah, absolutely. an actor. So. I think probably a lot of people here are probably like well on their way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm taking it to the audience. Okay. We have audience questions. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Um, as a voice actress, um, when you go into audition, I wanted to ask when you, the director gives you a script and then you give your own take of the character, um, and the director gives you a complete curveball, something that you were not expecting. How do you respond in a situation like that in terms of giving the director what they think they want? That uh, sort of thing? First of all, that is the worst when that happens. <laughs> it is like, you know, you go in, you have an idea of what you want to do, 
But of course, like as an actor, like you have to be, you know, able to go with the flow and like take direction. So yeah, I mean, sometimes it depends on the situation, but you know, sometimes I understand where the director is coming from, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea because it's a really collaborative, you know, field. Like animation is a collaborative thing, of course. Um, there just takes so many people to make an animated episode of something. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you take the idea, you roll with it. But if it's like a really bad direction, this is awful. But sometimes, and if I know it's a bad direction, I'll just, or, or no, the worst is like a line reading. They tell you to do it a certain way, even though you know that's not what the character would do. So you just, just give them what they want and just do it in a really bad way. <laughs> then they can't use the take. So <laughs> then you're like, uh-huh, okay, go on. <laughs> Best advice ever. Uh, do we have more Be questions? Be a jerk, basically. <laughs> questions for Jessica? Questions for Jessica? Yeah. Um, have you ever uh, taken an audition for an animated film? Can you repeat that, Can you repeat that please? Uh, have you taken an audition for an animated film? I'm sorry, I'm from Brazil, no, 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 so It's okay. Have you, also, hard to hear. have you auditioned for an animated film? For an animated film? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, I actually was in Over the Hedge. Did you? Have anybody seen Over the Hedge? I definitely okay, saw it. Remember uh, when, when the girl's like, rabies! Ah! That was me. <laughs> and like smack the squirrel. Um, so I think, unfortunately, for most feature films, the, um, the producers like to go with celebrities because they have the name and they think for some stupid reason that it's gonna like help with ticket sales. But really, you know, they should focus on the actual acting and just to make sure who's best for the part, you know? But, but yeah, there are some um, uh, films that come around that I get to audition for. I, the, you know, there's, the ones that I'm thinking of are, haven't come out yet, but, um, but I've auditioned for like, you know, I can't remember. I, I'm, like, I don't know, the, 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 the only one that pops to my head right now is like uh, Dumbo part two. Because <laughs> like, I auditioned to play a four-year-old bear. To play, uh -huh. my favorite color is blue. And I really like to do the fun things and play Legos. <laughs> so I auditioned for that and uh, to play this like bear and I tricked Disney casting. So I like, I like, I uh, sent them that MP3, or my agent did, and then I got a call back, and they actually thought that I was a real four-year-old. <laughs> so <laughs> the guy was, and the, the, it was like kind of a surprise when I walked in. <laughs> that was a little while ago. That's yeah. actually really impressive. Um, I was for a second like, wait a second, I am interviewing an adult, right? <laughs> There's an oh, adult. I can go younger. Uh, oh. I, I do baby, I play babies on, actu on live action shows. So like, do, um, do you know, um, so on Modern Family, do you guys have that show here? So Lily's first word? Mommy. I did that. Wow. <laughs> and then like, I've also like cried. So like, um, like uh, when, when, they, when a baby cries, sometimes, you know, you can't get a baby to do exactly what you want. So they have people like me come in and be like, Do you have a question? Fun little party trick. <laughs> um, when you're doing the voiceovers for Adventure Time, do you, are you all, all the people who are doing the voices in the room together? Yeah, so that's a good question. Because um, um, not all shows record like that. That's called recording as an ensemble cast. So that's why I particularly love recording Adventure Time because everybody's in the room together. You know, when I'm doing a, a scene with Finn, I'm actually acting with Jeremy. So you really got to have that, you know, rapport and figure out like what the scene is about, and you know, and then you know when when I'm fighting with Ice King, like he's actually right there next to me, and you know we're duking it out, um, and we, we do like act it. I mean, not obviously together, but like if, if this is the mic and I have to like punch, I'll be like, Ugh! like I'll actually m make the movement. You should try it. It, it. it sounds a lot different when you pretend to punch than when you're actually like putting the effort, the physical exertion into it. Um, but yeah, and then I, you know, I work with like, you know, John is in the room and whoever else is in that episode. I just did one the other day with Neptor. How with exciting. With Andy Milanakis. Yeah. 
Um, okay, have okay. you auditioned for a role that you thought to yourself, this role isn't for me, but I want to do it because this might be really fun? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually felt like that about Sims. Um, <laughs> and thankfully, I booked it. But um, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think. There was like a good one the other day. Oh, I just auditioned for Archer. Oh. And fingers crossed that I get it. But, um, but I, I hope I didn't sound too young for the part because it was like, you know, it's epic. It, 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 was t it would be talking to like Archer. So right. just, I, I, think, I think I did okay though. I don't know. I hope I get it. I also hope you get it. I thanks. love Archer. It's a good show. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you so much for yeah, joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody who's here. Can we get a round of applause thanks, guys, for the for amazing questions. Jessica? Bye, guys. And for all the characters she brought with her today. Yes. Uh, including that four-year-old and the crying baby. <laughs> and Lily for Modern Family. Thank you <laughs> so much. Um, and everyone, please stick around because there is a Game of Thrones panel coming up real soon. Ooh. Game of Thrones. Everyone Do you mind if I just stay right here? Yeah, no, stay right okay, there. Okay, cool. Um, I'm totally fine with that. I don't know where else you have to be, but this is what's happening. I'm actually going to be signing right after this on the other side of this, uh, wall. this wall. We're calling <laughs> it a wall. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll be signing. Get a signature and then come right back because Game of Thrones panel right here live on the yeah. MCM Buzz live stage. Yes. And I will be taking a lot of fan questions for that. So if you have a question about Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, join us right here, Jon Snow, right here at the MCM Buzz live stage. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. <laughs>